So let's go with this one here. Uh, what? Hey wee butts, I'm back, and today we're gonna have a little competition to find out which LOL Surprise Mini Sweets product is better. So I've got a Mini Sweets ball, which costs $10 in the States or $15 in Canada, and a surprise omatic capsule, which is $15 in the States and $22 in Canada. But today specifically, the ball I'm opening is one that I received while I was at the Sweet Sweet event in New York this summer, and the capsule was sent to me in the swag box that I received after going to the Sweet Sweet event in New York. So I didn't buy these today, but they are available at Walmart, Target, Amazon, pretty much everywhere nowadays. So it's time to see which thing is better. And we're gonna start with the Mini Sweets ball. So as you can see, it is completely pink, and all over we've got different brands of of sweet candies and confections. And whatever comes inside this ball is going to be themed as one of these candies. But I'd be pretty happy with almost any doll that comes inside because I seen them when I was in New York and man, they were adorable. All right, so wish me luck as I pull along this tear strip and see who we get. Maybe I should just do it nice and slow. Come on, come on. Don't stop, don't stop. Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I need to make a wish or something. That is clearly a good luck sign. So let's see. Ooh, I really hope I get Mike and Ike because that's my husband and my nickname. Mike and Ike, so I was already looking at those in the room. I need that for you and me, obviously. Does this feel like a Reese or a Mike and Ike? That's what I'm hoping to get, Mike and Ikes. It seems like a good time to make a wish since that worked out, don't you think? All right, first layer of plastic off. Go for tear strip number two. Ruin my nails a bit, why not? And go. Oh my gosh. Two for two, guys, that's amazing. Under the second layer of plastic, we have a paper ball, and I am so happy that they stuck with this. All right, here we go. What doll do I have? Oh, I've got tissue paper, Never mind. we don't know yet. All right. The tissue paper is covered in candies too. Oh, I'm definitely keeping this. They're all brown, but still super adorable. And inside we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven paper bags, a little instruction booklet type thing, an MGA thing, because in America, you guys get these inside your packages, we do not. We've got a sticker showing us our doll and her candy, so I probably shouldn't have looked at this. Now I know who I'm getting, but that's okay. And then we've got our little checklist poster showing us a bunch of different characters. And then on the back, we'll be able to see what their names are. So it looks like I'm gonna have a Dum Dums themed doll named Mystery Pop Cutie. And she's gonna be popular. What's the rare one? Who's ultra rare? Let's see. And wouldn't you just know it, looks like Mike and Ike are gonna be the ultra rares. So of course the ones I want are gonna be a little trickier to come across. Oh well, like I said, still cute. And now we can start opening the bags and everything is wrapped in paper bags, which is pretty awesome. And I'm gonna start by opening the doll first. That way I can dress her as I find the surprises. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so she comes wearing painted white underclothes. She's got bright blue eyes, red lips, and pink hair, which is pulled up into a double stacked bun on top of her head. It's pink and it turns to yellow. And she's got little white painted socks with question marks and stripes. And everything on her works, which is excellent. So that's it for Mystery Pop Cutie. Was that her name? I think it was. And now we gotta find her some clothes. Will they be in here? No, but we do have some pretty funny looking glasses. They are a round frame, painted white in the front, but the rest of them is pink. And we've got some circles sticking off with question marks on them. So let's just go ahead and put those on her to see what she looks like. Oh my. <laughs> and the answer is, hold on, a little crooked. Bam, both cute and ridiculous all at once. Inside bag number three, we have her outfit, excellent. Okay, so we have some blue jean shorts with a little shirt tied around the waist that looks like a Dum Dum's lollipop wrapper. So it says Dum Dum's mystery pop all over it in pink with little orange question marks. Pop that on her body, maybe. Looking cute, looking cute. And she's also got a pink long sleeve shirt over top of a white one with little orange question marks and her glasses fell off again. So let me just put this on and then put the glasses 
back on since they uh, decided to leave of their own free will. And this is what she looks like now. Bag number four is pretty thin. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a skinny accessory. Oh no, I ripped the bag, darn it. <laughs> Uh, and I'm right, inside we've got a pink headband with little ties on top. So let's pop that on. Oh my gosh, she's got so much. Oh goody, her glasses are gonna give me even more problems. They wouldn't stay on on their own. And now we gotta work with a headband, there we go. She's starting to look like a very bubblegum pink Minnie Mouse or something, <laughs> but still tragically adorable. All right, in bag number five, we have a white bag with pink handles. One side has yellow and pink question marks and the other says dum-dums make life pop. I wish she came with a lollipop. <laughs> and this is like way too big for her, obvs, but it's still cute. Next surprise, number six, is her shoes. They're pink sneakers with painted details like yellow laces, white bottoms, and toes. And for the final surprise, we have her cup, which is all white covered in question marks. It says Dum Dums in the front and has a red lid with yellow straw on top. So I'm just gonna pop it in her hand and there we go. My very first LOL Supreets, what Supreets? My very first LOL Surprise Mini Sweets doll. That's what I was trying to say. Overall, she is very cute. I do love this. I think I'm gonna have to get a couple more because like I said, the display at the Sweet Sweet event in New York was so absolutely adorable that I was drawn to it from across the very large room and I definitely, definitely want the Mike and Ike set, but of course the ones I want are gonna be the super rare ones. And I honestly think I could stand to have a little bit of that super sweet cuteness in my studio, so I just may have to make one of those little displays. So that's it for the surprise ball. Once again, that would be $10 in the States and $15 if you're in Canada. And now it's time to see if the surprise omatic capsule is a better deal. But we should probably move this cutie out of the way so we aren't distracted. And now we can check out our surprise omatic. Once again, it is wrapped completely in pink plastic covered in brand names of sweets and treats, and we do see a doll on the front. The differences between this and the ball is that this product costs more, comes in a surprise capsule of sorts and we'll have nine surprises inside. And since the last one had eight surprises and this one only has one more, kind of makes me think you're paying five to seven dollars extra literally for the capsule. I hope that's not the case because that would be kind of ridiculous no matter how cute it might be. But I guess I can't really say anything until I find out. So let's get that tear strip and let's go. No, it peeled away from its own layer, what? Okay, well, I tried. Oh, <laughs> and it just keeps getting better. Okay, let's try from the other side. Oh my, <laughs> okay, well, that's happening. Just, I need to get in. Oh goodness, this is going great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, I was gonna say, we're making progress. We're getting it. Yes, okay, the first layer is off, friends. It is off. Okay, so this is the second layer. Once again, super cute. Uh, we've got a different doll on the front this time, and she's Hershey's chocolate themed. Right away, I can tell you this vending machine reminds me very much of the Hair Goals hairspray capsule type dealy. Oh gosh. <laughs> So let's see what we're working with. This time, I'm not looking. Okay, so this is our capsule. It's got instructions on the front saying stop. Basically, look at me first, which is good because I don't know how to use this yet. And it says to take this off, okay. No, it doesn't. I lied. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wait, no, 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 no. It says to turn it to the back. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, and pull the tab. I don't know. <laughs> and take out all of this stuff. Yeah, there we go, perfect. So here is our little poster showing off different characters than the last one. Are any the same? Wait a minute. Oh goodness, they're different characters entirely, guys. Okay, well, now we know. Depending on who you hope to get, you may have to buy the more expensive capsule. Oh, why is there only one boy? He's cute. And of course he is the ultra rare and gonna be hard to get. Why wouldn't he be? Just like the two boys in the surprise ball option. Of course, that is evil. That is pure evil. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so we've got our instructions and other paper stuff. 
and my doll. So let's go ahead and see who we have. Actually, let me feel it and see if I can guess. We got a pom-pom or something on top of the head. Just one. We've got a ponytail of sorts up there. So it could be Raspberry Blue or maybe Graceful Grape, who are both Jolly Rancher characters, or maybe the Reese's themed one, PB Boss or Peanut Butter Boss. And I'm hoping for that one because I love me some Reese's. My kids better beware for Halloween because their mama gave them life and she's taken their chocolates. But that's okay because they like to share. I'm not evil. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yes! Okay. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I think, I think, I think, I think I got her. Was I, was I right? I, I think so. Hold on. Yes. Okay. So it looks like I got the peanut butter boss. Yeah. Okay. So she's got a dark tanned complexion. She comes wearing a bodysuit that's yellow covered in little Reese's pieces of brown and orange. She's got the same hairstyle pretty much as the first character, funny enough. Oh, maybe it's a little different. Never mind. It's a bright orangey yellow and she has big hoop earrings and a lot of blush on her cheeks, but she looks good, so that's all that matters. And I love her freckles and big brown eyes. Ooh, I'm so excited. So, so, so excited right now. Okay, so here was the back of the capsule. It's all silver with a big pink door. It says LOL Surprise. And we've got some button and coin slot details on the bottom here. Now it's time to go back to the front and pull away the paper. And then we can take out our surprises. This is cute. Okay, it's almost worth the seven extra dollars because this in itself, your kids can play with. So up at the top, we've got a label here showing us what we could potentially get in our vending machine. And then six translucent pink doors for our surprises. And they're push doors? Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, number one has a hamburger on it, but nothing inside. Um, and we can open it, but also, apparently push it. I guess that's how you would inject the item that you want to come out of the vending machine. I'm gonna have to try that. That is so cool. Number two has cherries on it and it does have a surprise. So let's see if this works. Oh, it worked. Give me my treat. Okay, this is cool. First surprise. Oh, not loving that it comes in plastic, but I kind of get that the paper might not fall directly into the section that you're supposed to retrieve it from, so I get it. <laughs> but anyways, here we go. At least you could keep these if you wanted to redo the surprise aspect, so I guess that's okay. But I mean, I am gonna try it with paper, just saying. Inside, we've got a Reese cup purse or handbag. So it's a dark chocolate color with orange straps and it says Reese's on the front. FYI, I'm in Canada, we call these Reese's, okay? But if you're in the US, I believe you guys say Reese's or something. I don't know, but this is cute. <laughs> Before I move on, you know what I gotta do. I'm gonna wrap it in tissue paper and see if it would have worked, okay? Cause it's, it's what I do here, okay? Ugh. Open. Oh, I said open. Oh, they're a little tricky. Okay, try this again. Here we go. Guys, paper would have worked. I'm just saying, okay? Paper would have worked. Oh, wow, look at my super cute handbag. I love it. <laughs> I think I proved my point, so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore, but just so we know, paper would have worked. That is all. <laughs> Okay, on to surprise number two. Oh, I guess we can look at our sticker now. Would you look at that? It's PB Boss, as if we didn't already know. Okay, so for the next surprise, we're gonna go down to number three, where it looks like we've got some fireworks. And we're just gonna push it in, turn it around, and ba bam We've got an outfit. I'm gonna open it up, ba -ba -ba, open it up. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be keeping these little caps plastics because I think they can be reused again. And here it is. This time it's an orange one piece made to look like a Reese's wrapper. It literally says Reese's right down the center. And on top we've got a white and brown varsity jacket. So let's pop that on our PB boss. And there we go. She's looking super cute. We might be able to put them back inside the vending machine. So I'm gonna try it. They're definitely a little hard to open, but they do work, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna load it up. Uh, we need a big one up there. That one can go there. There we go. And this one I'll do last. The bottom spaces are too small for it, so I'm just gonna leave it for now until one of these is freed up. Let's go ahead and open our next surprise. Bam, tissue paper, like I said. Wait a minute, it fell out of the front. <laughs> 
It is a visor. It's orange with a brown brim. And of course, it says Rhesus right across the front. And that's what it looks like on her. Oh my gosh. She is so cute. Technically, she's done. I think she just needs her cup, right? So what are the other surprises? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. But first, I'm going to pop that last one inside so that uh, we have it. And I'm going to move on to number two because it's already half out. And yes, they can fall forward. I could have just been getting my items literally vended to me and Instead of opening them at the back like a complete and utter lunatic. <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't say that. It just said to take the doll out from the back and then turn it around and remove this. Like, it never said that. I mean, it is kind of obvious, but yeah, hindsight is 2020, so whatever. Back to my surprise. We always have to peel the little tape that's holding them closed because I need to ruin my nails, obviously. <laughs> There we go. Oh, we get a second outfit. Okay, this is so cute. And it's a little dress. It's orange on top, it says Reese's in the front. There's a yellow belt and a Reese's paper cup layered skirt of brown and gold. That's adorable. <gasps> I'm gonna have to try it on her. Oh, there's a little extra paint on the side there. I almost missed that. Um, I was about to say that we might be able to easily clean it up with some acetone, but since this brown layer is also painted, that would strip it away. So the best bet at fixing that would be finding or creating a matching brown color to touch it up safely without ruining anything. And yeah, so I'm gonna try this on her to see what she looks like. Oh, that is just as cute. And she kind of looks like she is a tennis player sponsored by Rhesus. That's adorable. Moving on to our last three surprises. Oh, one already fell out. I guess we're going to that one. We have something inside this tissue. Ah, a doll base. It's all about the base. So we're gonna stick it on her foot and you can pop her right on top of the capsule and be able to display her. That's perfect, actually. And then there were two. So let's go with this one here. Uh, what? Is that how we were supposed to be opening them this whole time? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> okay, so those ones open like that. Yeah, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it either. No, only the middle two do it. Okay, I was about to say, am I really, really that oblivious today? Anyways, this surprise, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say it might be our cup. Yay, and it was. It's see-through, awesome. We've got an orange circle, but not really. It's kind of spiked like a Reese cup with a yellow R and an orange lid with a yellow straw. Pop that in her hand, cause your girl needs her drink. And there we go. That's what she looks like holding it. And for our final surprise, uh, apparently we're taking it out of the front. We have way too much tissue paper to allow it to go to the bottom. So I'm gonna put it in the top one. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that either. We're just gonna take it out. We have a second pair of shoes. Oh, maybe her outfit will look better now because this is cute, but I felt like it was too much going on. So we've got little orange boots with gold bottoms, yellow laces, and black around the ankles. There we go. That's her second outfit. Basically, this one here is a Reese cup and this set here is Reese's pieces themed. So she is two versions of what Reese offers. So that's it for our LOL surprise Omatic. Once again, $15 approximately US or 22 if you're in Canada. And overall, I love her. I'm so glad I have her. And you know what? Before I end this video, I'm just going to say I have to make me some little display jars because the ones from the booth were just so convincing. I can't not have them, you know? Yes, friends, as you can see, I've printed out a whole bunch of candy wrappers because of course I'm not going to let real candy go to waste. And I'm just going to make myself some lollipops and little Reese packages so that I can fill up my own jars for my mystery pop cutie and PB Boss and have my own little sweet display. Oh my goodness, this makes me so happy. Like, how cute and adorable do these look? Okay hey guys, that's it for me and for my first look at the LOL Surprise Mini Sweets Surprise products, I suppose. Basically, if there's anything you want off the first checklist, you'd have to buy a ball. And if there's anything you want off the second checklist, you'd have to buy a capsule. So to answer today's question, which product is better for the value? Even though everything was great that came in the ball, I think for me, the winner is gonna be the Surprise-O-Matic. I love it. <laughs> I opened things a little incorrectly 
correctly, that's for sure. But I love the way things are packaged and how we can stick surprises in and have them vend out to us as long as you're smart enough to remove the items from the bottom. <coughs> Jen, it's like really cool. As long as you use it correctly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did and haven't yet, then please remember to subscribe to my channel because I would hate for you to miss out on any future fun toy reviews, especially with the holidays coming up. I've got lots of stuff to show you. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.